Since the beginning of mankind, humans have always sought to answer one specific question. Among all the mysteries that come with our existence, one question has been endlessly debated across all cultures in human history. Who will be the next Nakama? So yeah, this is a bit of a big topic that has always been a big thing in our community. While there are certainly larger mysteries present in the story of One Piece, the question of who will be the next Nakama has been incredibly relevant, because it's a question that always shifts depending on the current arc of the story. And I mean, with good reason, because a new character joining the crew means a new character being present for every main future event in the story, which is a massive deal when it comes to our own experience reading this series. However, this topic is something that has somewhat shifted as time goes on, because the truth is that new members joining the crew is something that just isn't as prevalent as it used to be earlier in the series. Well, back in the pre timescape it was almost a given to get a new straw hat at practically every new saga, things definitely slowed down in the post timescape. And by slow down, I mean that we pretty much only got one new addition in the entirety of the whole post timescape, in the form of Jinbei, who was asked to join the crew during the Fishman Island arc, though only ended up joining by Whole Cake Island. However, across these sagas of Dressrosa, Whole Cake Island, and now Wano, no one has ever been asked to join the crew. It has almost been 10 years since Luffy even asked anyone to join his crew. So before we even ask ourselves who will be the next Nakama, we need to ask ourselves. Will there be a new Nakama? Will we get new crew members? Or is the crew complete? That's not really as absurd as it may sound, and if I'm being honest, that's actually what I believe for a pretty long time. While the thought of a new crewmate is always exciting from a narrative perspective, I feel there are some issues to having someone join so late on. One Piece is a long story, and because of that, if a character joins towards the end, the amount of screen time they might get compared to others might just be too brief. What makes the Straw Hats feel important to us is that they are characters who have been with us for a very long time. We spend entire years of our lives seeing them grow and improve as people, and that creates a special bond between us. It makes us feel connected to them. Even Jinbei, while he technically only joined the crew four years ago, Jesus Christ, it's already been four years since the tea party, he's someone who was still introduced and bonded with Luffy in the print time skip. If you want to get technical, he was first mentioned as far as back as in East Blue, so we've definitely been familiar with him for a very long time. But if a new character just suddenly appeared and joined right before the final saga, it could potentially feel like we just haven't got enough time to get to know them. And honestly, I think this is a very valid concern. And because of it, I'm still hesitant to consider if I really want a new addition to the crew. Personally speaking, while well, I have some degree of personal preference, to me what matters the most is that these characters feel naturally integrated into the narrative, and if that isn't possible at this point in the story, then I'd rather Oda commit to fleshing out the characters we already have. However, on the other hand, screw all that, the prospect of getting a new Nakama is just so exciting that I honestly feel like throwing caution to the wind and just rooting for someone to join. It's a special experience as a One Piece fan to have someone to join the crew. It's an exciting moment for the community, so screw everything, let's actually speculate who could potentially be the final straw hat. Uh, granted, there could be several new additions perhaps, but I feel at this point uh, one more straw hat feels like the more realistic scenario, and it will also line up with Luffy's statement at the start of the manga of wanting 10 crew members. Admittedly, that was just a wild guess by Luffy, but personally I feel several new members this close to the final saga just doesn't feel feasible. Also, as a side note, I personally think that Vivi and Karu will return in the final saga and will fight alongside the Straw Hats. I just don't think they'll be back on the crew officially. Vivi will remain as the Queen of Alabasta, I feel that's something she wants to commit to even after the end of the story, but I'm certain that she will be a big player in the final Great War, and as such, I think that the opportunity to have her and Karu back to fight alongside the Straw Hats for one final massive team up is just too big of an opportunity to pass up on. But anyway, let's ask ourselves this question. Who will be the final Straw Hat? Well, to start things off, we need to address the rabbit in the room. Carrot. Yes, Carrot has undoubtedly been one of the biggest contenders for new Straw Hats since, well, the entire past half decade. And unlike a lot of other picks which have simply derived from these characters being popular, Carrot does admittedly have a lot going for her in the actual story. For starters, while Carrot is not a member of the crew, she has pretty much acted as one this whole time. 
While not being an official member of the Straw Hat Pirates, she joined the crew on their trip to Hokkaik Island, not because she was needed for her skills like Pedro, but just because she wanted to. Like her or hate her, it's undeniable that Carrot has a lot of chemistry with the crew and feels perfectly integrated among them. Carrot being such a massively popular pick for next Nakama is not just a matter of people liking her or her being popular, it's the fact that Oda has already depicted her acting like a member of the crew, and so people want to see her go the full way and officially join. That is not to say that Karen isn't massively popular though, I mean, <laughs> the Genki archetype of a cheerful and peppy girl with a very positive attitude is undoubtedly charming for a lot of people, though at the same time it is also a type of character archetype that has made some people dislike her as well, since some find this overly enthusiastic archetype to be annoying and overdone in anime. So this has made Carrot already a bit of a controversial choice due to how this type of personality can be somewhat divisive, but regardless of how you feel towards her, there really is no denying that she certainly feels like one of the major, if not the major, candidate for joining the crew. However, while I agree that Carrot certainly feels like a member of the Straw Hats, there is a fundamental flaw that holds her back for me, and it's the fact that Carrot is just a background character. As much as I'd like to pretend that isn't the case, she is. <laughs> the truth is that Carrot has not had any major protagonism in any arc. And to be clear by that, I'm not saying that she doesn't feel like she's not important, she definitely is important in those arcs. What I mean is that there is no arc that feels like it's Carrot's arc. Every Straw Hand has had one arc where they feel like they are the main focus, where they are the main protagonist of that arc. In those arcs, they have defined stories with flashbacks and in-depth looks into their characters that allow them to grow as persons and keep pursuing that growth when joining the crew. These arcs don't necessarily always come around with a character joins, such as Robin only getting properly fleshed out in Enya's lobby, but that still doesn't change the fact that all of these characters have gotten an arc where they feel like the main focus of it. And, at least to me, it doesn't feel like Carrot is a major protagonist of any particular arc. At Hulk Island, Carrot did have a lot of great moments and even had an emotional scene with Petra's death, but for as much as I love those, uh, to me they don't feel comparable to how important H. Straw had felt in the respective arc. For as much as I legitimately love Carrot's personality, I just don't feel like Carrot is fleshed out enough as a character, at least yet. The whole reason why I presented the idea of Carrot being the traitor to begin with some time ago was specifically because of this, because I was intrigued by the possibility of there being more to her personality. A lot of people seem to mistake that video as an actual predictions video, saying that yes, without a doubt, Carrot will be the traitor, completely missing the fact that even in the video itself I mentioned that the traitor was almost certainly going to be Kanjiro, because of course it was going to be, it was obvious at that point, but I wanted to challenge that notion because I wanted to see a deeper side to Carrot's personality. If Carrot had turned out to be the traitor, then we could have had a much more interesting story about her than what we have now. Because right now, through Nigashima, Carrot has just been the same peppy rabbit she always is, and that depth still feels lacking. Her fight against Perspero is certainly an exciting prospect, but even then, I don't see how that could be used to really give her depth comparable to that of the other Straw Hats. And the fact that the fight is not even hers alone, but one fought alongside Wanda, sort of proves this idea that Carrot just isn't meant to be a core member of the crew, but just a close friend of theirs that will remain as part of the Ming tribe. Look, I hope I'm wrong. I really, really hope I'm wrong. I love Carrot's personality as a character, and I would really love to see her join the crew, but... Personally speaking, I don't want that to happen unless we get to see more of her story. I don't want a new addition to the crew that just kind of feels like it's in the background. If Kara just keeps feeling like this background character who just doesn't get her own chance to feel like the protagonist of her own arc, then I just feel she wouldn't feel naturally integrated into the crew. Maybe I'm underestimating the weight of her connection with Pedro, or maybe I'm underestimating this whole thing, maybe none of this matters and Oda goes with it anyways because he doesn't feel like she needs this type of story, but I, I just cannot see Carrot realistically joining the crew for real without being properly fleshed out as a character. However, in spite of this, I've always rooted for Carrot for a very simple reason, because she felt like our last chance. No other character ever felt like they had a realistic chance in recent years. Everyone else aside from Carrot really never felt like they had the same chances that she had, so for me and a lot of people, Carrot pretty much was our final hope. Or at least that was the case, until... 
Yamano just crashes into the story, taking the entire community by storm. A character with zero precedent or setup in the story, coming out of literally quite nowhere in the middle of this saga, and yet dominating all Nakama predictions for the past few months, instantly dethroning Kara to be the undisputed number one prediction for who will be the next Nakama. If you want to go into popularity, oh my god, no matter how popular Carrot was, Yamato has already outshined her in so many ways. The amount of fan art, cosplays and sheer love for this character is nothing short of astounding. It's something I haven't seen in such a long time in this community. And I'll admit, even I was entranced by Yamato's charms. At first I felt like people were jumping the guns since we had only just met Yamato for a few chapters, but in just a few chapters more, Oda has been able to show just how charismatic and likable he can be, and now I'm completely aboard as well. But how did this all happen? Well, on one hand, it's the fact that Yamato is actively gunning for that position in the crew. Yamato wants to join the Straw Hats and that automatically puts Carrot at a disadvantage because, well, she has been playing the long game and slowly gotten better acquainted with the Straw Hats to get to join the crew. Yamato has blasted by and max speed to claim that final seat, leaving Carrot in the dust. However, I think there's a lot more to why I feel people, you know, feel like Yamato will join the crew. Remember what I said about Karen not feeling like the protagonist of her own arc? Well, Yamato feels like the complete opposite. Yamato is such a central character to Onigashima and someone who is very deeply tied with the core story of this saga, being the story of Koski Onen, and that automatically makes Yamato feel a lot more like an actual potential Nakama than Karot ever was. Yamato isn't bound by that feeling of feeling like a background character and could potentially be the central focus of Onigashima's character narrative. One of my only criticisms with this arc is that it feels like we don't really have a personal connection with any of the Straw Hats in regards to the events unfolding here, but if Yamato were to be the next new addition to the crew, then that would perfectly scratch that itch of having a personal storyline about the events unfolding we could currently connect with. And I've already gone into great lengths in my chapter 1000 video, which is just basically a Yamato for Nakama manifesto in disguise at this point, so I won't bother repeating myself much, but Yamato feels like someone who is so intrinsically tied to Luffy, because his own goal lines up with seeing Luffy's goal at the end of his journey, and sailing on his boat in the same way that Odin did for Roger, that no matter how you cut it, Yamato just gives this feeling uh, that characters like Jinbei, Brook, Frankie, etc. give us in their respective arcs that they are someone who makes sense to have on the crew. So honestly, as much as I would love to have Karat on the crew, Yamato in just a matter of a few chapters already feels like a far more solid candidate. Of course, this doesn't guarantee anything. Yamato could still remain at one if things change and maybe Karat doesn't really need anything more in Oda's eyes to join the crew. This is such a complicated subject that anything is honestly possible, and it's hard to really say who will join for certain because it can be such a volatile thing that can change at any minute. But it's just that... how do I put this? If it were up to me, I would love to see both of them join, I really want to. But I want to see more out of them. I want to see what these characters have to offer. I want to know them personally, I want to connect with them because the Straw Hats are so much more than just a group of characters and drawings. They're our friends. To us, the readers, the Straw Hats are those we share this journey with. We follow Luffy along his adventure with them by our side. We know the struggles they've been through, we know what they've endured, and yet we also know how much they've grown and how they've moved forward in spite of those struggles, improving as human beings. We've not only seen their growth, but their growth has been a part of our own growth, of our experience, of the adventure. That is what gives us such a deep connection with them, and that is what makes them feel like our friends, because in the end, that's what a bond of friendship really is about. To support others so they can support you. To stand side by side and keep pushing forward to share the beautiful adventure that is life. That is what it means to be an Akama. And I can only hope we can get to see that from Karat and Yamato. So who do you think will join the crew? And who do you want to join the crew regardless of if they're realistic or not? Or do you think no one will join the crew? Let me know and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.